it's safe to say the royal family have been everywhere in the past week. And it's perhaps no surprise they've made it to the Grammys too. The Royals were the butt of the joke as host Trevor Noah kicked off the show by taking aim at the firm in the aftermath of Meghan and Harry's explosive Oprah interview. The 37-year-old quipped, This year's Grammys is going to look a little different. I'm not going to front. The whole thing is going to be pretty different. But it's going to be even more exciting because our nominees will be sitting at those tables for their awards. So right now there's more tension in that tent than at a family reunion at Buckingham Palace. The host of The Daily Show started procedures in a tent outside of the Staples Center in Los Angeles where the Knights nominees, donning their their face masks, were sitting before he moved into a sparsely filled room where the likes of Harry Styles took to the stage to perform. Reeling off the jokes, the comedian turned host continued. Tonight is going to be the biggest outdoor event this year besides the storming of the Capitol, making reference to sections of the U.S. public storming the building in January following Donald Trump's failed re-election bid. After being announced as the host of the awards in November, Trevor had praised music for keeping us sane throughout the pandemic. His speech on the night continued with the same upbeat message as he said, We're hoping this is all about what 2021 can be, full of joy, new beginnings and coming together, never forgetting what happened in 2020, but full of hope for what is to come. Let's do this people. Stars had earlier taken to the red carpet in LA ready to turn heads at the 63rd annual edition of the awards. Noah Cyrus flamboyant Scaparelli couture design split opinions on social media, while Bruno Mars turned up in his signature suit and frilled shirt. The awards were originally set to take place in January but were rearranged due to the coronavirus pandemic. <laughs>